on you guys it is your girl Dale welcome and welcome back to my channel as you guys can hear your girl feels a little bit under the weather y'all honestly I got sick no I don't have the C but I did get sick uh three days ago and I'm actually feeling much much better um but my voice still sounds like a man which is like pretty much terrible but I'm still gonna do this video because as you guys can see my hair is very dry and matted and I did a wash and go with mousse and honestly this is what my hair is looking like right now. It's been a couple of days and I think it's been about like two weeks since I washed my hair. And honestly, that is the norm for me. I don't really wash my hair too often. I would say this year was probably the year that I wash my hair more than I typically would so far. So honestly, two weeks is really not that bad. My scalp is a little bit itchy. Um, I think I have a little bit of product buildup, which is why it's itching. And honestly, I feel like if I leave it in this for another week, I'm going to have dreads. That's what it's giving. But in today's video, we are going to be detangling and probably have like a little chit chat. Um, we're going to detangle this hair because, y'all, look at this. It's giving dry. It's giving, where's the scalp? It's giving a day of what are you doing? Like, yeah, that's exactly what it's giving. So we're gonna be detangling my hair. I am gonna be using some warm water right here. As you guys know, I love my water bottle. It's damn near about to break off, but we need water in order to detangle always, always, always. And we are gonna be coming in with the coconut co-wash by As I Am. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite long time co-wash as you guys may know i think i used it in my previous video um but yeah i don't really have nothing to really detangle my hair as a pre-poo i don't have no aloe vera i never bought like a pre-poo product before like i know people rave about my african pride they have like this aloe vera uh pre-poo and i'm actually looking forward to trying it and buying it because a lot of people say it's good but I've never been the type to buy a pre-poo. I either make my own or use aloe vera. I'm going to start off by parting my hair slightly in the middle, slightly fingering, detangling. Slightly finger detangle the middle of my head. Because honestly, y'all, what I really hate about washing goals, especially, I don't know, on my hair, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I tend to get single-stranded knots very easily, and I don't like that. Like, I feel like washing goals with specific types of hair it's easier for you to get a uh, single strand and not and that's like a risk so we're gonna start off in the front of my head because that's what i can see <laughs> especially when it comes to detangling my hair when it's been uh knotted or matted for a while um i really like to be very gentle and take my time because if you rush it honestly you're gonna get unnecessary breakage and honestly all right if you guys want to see the wash and go i did and what product i use i use the one product wash and go um you can check my instagram it's gonna be on the screen how have y'all been honestly me y'all honestly think my body gave up like three days ago not gonna lie because the way my body was feeling exhausted and the way i was feeling i was a little bit scared like my body was so tired i don't know what it was i just got off break so i don't even know how i was tired and I was a little bit stressed. Like, I'm, I'm in a stage right now, y'all, that I'm a little bit stressed. Not gonna lie. I'm stressed. Like, I'm graduating this year. And that means, like, I'm hitting adulthood. And that means, like, I need to get my life together. I mean, I've been was supposed to get my life together. I mean, my life is together. Is it? I don't even know. <laughs> my life is together. But honestly, me graduating college is, like, literally hitting adulthood and I don't know if I'm scared for it if that's why I'm stressed or is it because like I have so much on my plate and I want to be the best at everything that I do but I don't know I've been having like uh, a few negative moments where I'm just like dang am I good enough for what I'm about to do or the profession that I'm about to step in like especially if you're heading into a competitive field for me, as you guys may know, I'm a full-time biology major. Those of you who don't know, I'm going to be a PA. And that is a very, very competitive field right now. Since a lot of people don't want to go to med school and do that. They think they're just going to settle for PA school. So now you have so many people that 
basically competing against you that has, you know, maybe a higher GPA than you or started like their patient care hours before you or blah, 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 all these requirements for, you know, that field. So, you know, for me, like I'm in a good space, but yet I feel like I'm not doing enough. So that's where I am in life right now. Overall, school is going very, very well. I've always stayed on top of my grades, um, and that's what I continue to do because I want all A's this semester, and I'm manifesting it because it's going to happen. Also, by the way, I haven't detangled my hair in damn near so long. I don't want to, like, finger detangle my hair, which is why I'm not finger detangling, only because parts of my nails are, like, lifting a little bit, and... Oh, I don't want no breakage. I like to slightly go in and detangle my hair. The shedding is about to be real. Not bad so far with the shedding. What are you guys doing right now? What are you doing for the summertime? Like, oh my God, I'm so excited for summer. Oh my God, that's another thing, y'all. I'm gonna be taking summer courses. Which might sound a little whack. If you guys watch my self-care vlog, then you will know that I took winter courses and I'm taking summer courses. So I'm really preparing myself, like literally for getting into getting into PA school and doing all that I have to do because y'all, it's a lot of requirements. Like it's not a lot, but I wanted to go to Aruba as a graduation gift. I'm very, very excited for the summertime because I plan to go to Aruba in August as my graduation gift and I'm like so excited Aruba is so beautiful I've been there when I was younger and I honestly don't remember a thing I remember some things but I don't remember everything and it's gonna be so much fun and I'm looking forward to going there um, I'm actually gonna have like three places like three top places that I want to go to I see a lot of people talking about Costa Rica Lately, a lot of people have been talking about Costa Rica, so that might be an option. Um, I don't even know where else, honestly, because I kind of been to like all the islands. That's really it for me, honestly. And then I start my training and then, you know, I'm doing what I got to do in my profession. So I love this collage. Like, I really freaking love it. It like just makes my curls pop. Your hair is supposed to shed. Don't be scared if your hair is shedding. But if it's excessively shedding, that's an issue right there. You're doing something wrong. Y'all, my page is growing so well. If I'm looking over here, you guys already know I got my mirror. Like, I'm just so excited to have so many new family members. I see some of y'all are watching my videos and, you know, some of you guys are supporting me on YouTube. Well, not YouTube, sorry, Instagram. And I'm just so grateful. That means so much to me. You guys don't even understand. I took so many breaks in the past on YouTube and on Instagram because I mentally was just not there. And to really come back and get so much love, like, in such a short amount of time, it's like, it's crazy to me. It's really crazy to me. And we are definitely growing and flourishing. I always ask you guys for your opinion and what you guys want me to, you know, speak about or do on my youtube or do on my instagram because i take ideas and i have so like many videos to post it's crazy but yeah see when y'all work in the smallest sections it's so much easier for you to detangle your hair and it's it's worth it it's honestly worth it y'all let me tell y'all something i did a porosity test and i <laughs> Y'all won't believe this, all right? I think it's misleading, and I think I need to do another one, but my hair literally sat on top of the water. And if you guys know, then you know that for a porosity test, if your hair sits on top of the water, you have low porosity hair. I was kind of like at shock because I'm like, this whole time, I'm telling people I have high porosity hair, but my hair is sitting on top of the water, so now I have low porosity hair. Am I using the wrong products? Am I putting out the wrong information? Like, am I doing this, that, and the third wrong? Like, what is going on? But then again, I don't believe it, y'all. I don't believe that because 
a lot of people commented under my post and they said you could have different types of porosity especially when it comes to your hair so i'm actually like very intrigued to do like another test and to really see like do i really have low porosity hair like or was that just a piece of my hair that was just low porosity and i really do have high porosity because i know like many other things when it comes to low porosity hair like i know low porosity hair what it is to have normal hair and what it is to have high and why I say I have high porosity hair is because my hair soaks up moisture. Like, my hair soaks up moisture real good. When you have low porosity hair, your hair takes a max of two to three days to dry. And that's not my hair. My hair does not take two to three days to dry. It doesn't. It really doesn't. When it comes to my hair type, that is what I'm a little bit confused about. Only because I have looser curls in the back of my head. But in the front of my head, my hair is more coarse. So I'm a little bit, like, you know, confused. Not really confused. I'm just very curious to, like, really know, like, what is my hair type. That's what I tell people, like, I have type 4 hair. That's it. I don't know if I have type A, type B, type C, type D. I really don't know. I'm still learning. Um, and that's totally fine. It could be natural for a long time and not really know your hair type. Because honestly... Especially when it comes to like stuff like that, like it doesn't even matter. Like hair type matters, but like people always say like, oh my God, you have to have this certain type of hair type to use this certain type of product. And it's not the case. It is really not the case. This product has so much slip. You have to have this type of hair to use this type of product and no, no. Overall, I'm feeling so much better. It feels so good to really step in front of the camera. Let me show you guys what a single strand did not looks like. Basically, a single strand and knot looks like this. This, y'all see that? It's getting cut off. Snip. guys so i just finished fully detangling my hair this is what it's looking like some chunky twists honestly y'all if there's one thing that i really don't like about washing goals is when it's time to detangle baby after you have like your day six hair that detangling process is very 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 tedious it was worth it though because I'd rather have less breakage. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much shedding that I had honestly this is not I mean, is it a lot? Is it not a lot? I haven't detangled my hair in a while. So this is how much hair that, uh, how much detangling hair that I had. Honestly, it's a pretty good amount, but it's not too much. So I'm not really stressing about it. As you guys saw, I did cut off my single strand and knots because if you rip it, that is breakage right there. So it's better for you to cut it off because if you cut it, it's almost like cutting your ends or dusting your ends or whatever the case may be. But that's pretty much the end of the video i'm gonna go ahead and let this sit in my hair for a little bit give it some moisture and then we're gonna get into washing my hair later in the day but without further ado i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up definitely turn on that post notification bell so you get notified every single time you go upload a video which is every wednesday for hair videos and every saturday for vlogs college content all that great stuff if you don't follow my instagram already make sure you do the link is always in the bio and the name is always on the screen and without further ado your girls go go ahead and go eat because i'm hungry i love you guys and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one bye